so we're going to be using the laser today on a patient uh, with some burn scars. Uh, this is our fractional CO2 laser. This laser uh, is used to soften up the scar and make the scar a little bit thinner. It also is an interesting laser because it uh, cuts holes in the scar and that allows us to deliver drugs like steroids, which also help to decrease inflammation. Uh, this is a very painful laser. So this patient does have very deep sedation. Um, we have anesthesia providing that for us. Um, he is given supplemental oxygen. So we've done all of our laser checks, fire safety checks. Uh, we're specifically focusing on his hand. He is a 60-year-old gentleman who had a flame burn. He's had a skin graft, and now he has contractures on his hands and his fingers, both sides, um, which are mild to moderate. And what we're doing is we're lasering these scar bands so that when it comes time to doing actual reconstruction with surgery, we can do a simpler operation. So in a sense, this is preparing him for additional surgery that he might need. Now, he might have an excellent response to the laser and need no surgery. Currently, um, he has little web spaces that have extra skin. And to release these contractures, to let him move his fingers, you might need a skin graft. Our hope is that by lasering these tight bands, <coughs> Uh, we can just move the tissue around and not have to use a skin graft. And in fact, some of these web spaces might not even need any surgery. So the laser has allowed us to simplify the types of surgery that we have to offer for hand surgery patients uh, or any other burn scars over the body. So we're focusing again on these thick, tight scars on his hand. These often occur at the junction between the skin graft and the unburned skin, and our nurse practitioner, Renee Edkins, um, applying the laser sequentially. After we're finished uh, creating these holes in the skin, we're then gonna use our steroid cream, and we're gonna massage this into the skin to help it soften it up. So again, this would be very painful without the benefit of sedation. Now most of his hand is done very well. Uh, the skin graft on the back of his hand looks great. Um, but he does have, again, these web spaces that are a little bit tight in here and along the seam on the back of the hand. Lasers work by um, emitting a light at different frequencies. And those frequencies are in line with the targets. So we use the lasers. Uh, to address different targets. Uh, in the CO2 laser, the frequency is 10,000 hertz. So we're actually uh, vaporizing water molecules that are in the scar tissue. And that's our target, is the water that is inside of the scar. We're actually evaporating and uh, vaporizing this scar because it has water in it.